Hello everybody, this is Capes Games and welcome back to Crossout 101. Today I am gonna put away all the doubts if it comes to engines and cabins for you guys with the spreadsheet today. Um, do want to point out this is actual for point zero uh, for the version 0 0.7.5 so this is not uh, updated with the Quantum or Pilgrim yet. So I do not have the stats on those but I can give you the stats on all the other cabins. Um, first I'm going to explain how it actually works. Um, each cabin has their own power uh, and, uh, of, of their own engine. They got their own um, uh, max, uh, maximum speed. And um, the maximum speed it, can ta it gets when it's a an engine is applied on it. Uh, and basically, if you go beyond beyond that speed, you risk getting self-destructed. And the, they all, all have their own radar range. Um, engines in themselves, um, they affect. Uh, sorry, one second. The game is a little bit glitchy right here. Um, the engines itself, um, they they have their own power, and. Um, um, basically, if you uh, place an engine on a vehicle, the um, the own uh, power of the vehicle will not get used anymore, but the uh, power of the engine will be used instead. Also, these uh, engines actually do increase the maximum speed of a cabin by 10 kilometers an hour. That is, if you do not lose the engine, because if the engine gets shot off, all this will be, of course, neglected. Um, if the uh, speed limit, again, is um, the actual speed limit, that's so basically the max speed of the cabin plus 10 if you've got an engine, or just the normal maximum speed of the cabin without the engine, is, uh, is uh, like if you get, hi get higher by using boosters, you um, risk that self-destruction. So yeah, let's get right to it. Into it. The gr let's start with the gorilla. Just don't want that. Gr uh, gorilla has 160 power score. It uh, uh, its own engine speed is 65 kilometers an hour, and uh, its max speed is sp uh, 75 kilometers an hour. So it can accelerate itself up to 65, but if I'm going downhill with boosters and so like before you risk self destruction, it's 75. That's how it's basically how it works. Um, the power of the engine is um, 1200 power. Um, this is kind of a weird figure, but um, and I can't really co um, explain how, what it means. But um, basically, the, um, the higher this number of force, how stronger it can pull on a vehicle. And they're more, more or less comparison numbers. Um, yeah, that's 3,000 kilograms of tonnage, 6,000 kilograms of mass, 7 energy points, 80 points of structure, and 840 kilograms of mass. Um, it has uh, it's a starter cabin. It pretty much does. It, it is probably one of the worst cabins out there, um, but it does have a very low power score. So the next up in the list is actually the WWT-1 at 250 power score. Its own engine speed is 60 km an hour, so it's 5 km an hour slower than the Gorilla. And its speed limit is 70. Um, its power is 1700 however, so it is quite a bit more powerful, although again slower. Its health pool is, one, uh, is 100 points of structure. Tonnage is uh, 5,250 kilograms and mass limit is 10,050 kilograms. It has 8 points of energy uh, and has 930 kilograms of mass. Currently, this one is only obtainable by crafting or via the market. You cannot obtain it or would like from random drops because it is a common part, so you can obtain it from random drops. However, it's a bit rare. Um, costing 300 scrap to craft, I personally do not think this thing is worth it because you can almost always. Uh, use the Huntsman for a better result or a Docker, depending or if you want to cut a normal build or want to go for heavy build. Because it's pretty much in between there, but it does not add that extra energy point the Docker has. 
Um, and again, it's even slower than a gorilla. So personally, I don't really think this thing is worth it. Next one is the Huntsman, or the um, uh, the one, the back one, the wait. Got the name, guys. Sorry. <laughs> the top cabin, <laughs> but those have the exact same stats, so I'm gonna cover them all both at once. They have 250 power score. Their engine speed uh, on their own is 75 kilometers an hour, with a speed tower rate of 85 kilometers an hour. Its power is uh, 1400, uh, so it's slightly more than the. Uh, Gorilla, but lower than the WWT one, and it has uh, 4250 kilograms of tonnage, 8500 kilograms of mass. Again, in energy, 85 points of structure, 710 kilograms of mass. Also, um, I've got to just cover these ones really quickly, um, but I'm gonna do it like right now. Um, the Gorilla has a built-in radar range of 100 meters and does not have a radio. Installed, so uh, there's one of them. The Wyvern actually has an internal radio, but this one, and, uh, uh, that's the only exception. But this one uh, has 100 meters, this one has 100 meters, and this one has 200 meters of radar range. That is the only advantage it has over the Docker. The Docker only has 100 meters of radar range. Of course, this is not like a radar detector, it only detects people that are directly in your like field of vision. Um, that's that. Uh, let's continue to the Docker. The Docker um, has 250 parts for as well. It's like all of the common ones. It has a engine speed of 50 kilometers an hour, which is the second slowest in the game, together with the hunchback. Uh, uh, together with the hunchback, but uh, the, uh, the carapace is actually slightly slower. Um, and it also. Um, has the max speed of course of 60 and uh, has a power of 2400 which is a pretty high power output it's higher than like most other uh, vehicles and has 6500 kilos of tonnage 13,000 kilograms of mass limit non energy points which is the highest for all of the common ones so uh, is the highest amount of energy you can get for 250 power score and it also has 180 points of structure and uh, it's uh, on its own it's already uh, 2300 kilograms of mass uh, and last up is the duster cabin which is actually also actually this one this, uh, this one and the girl are all, uh, like other than the wife also have uh, radio uh, radio but this one has 200 meters of radar range and 200 meters of radio range um, it's um, maximum speed is 90 kilometers an hour. Uh, uh, its own speed limit is of course 100, because the speed limit, speed limit is always plus 10. It has <coughs> a power output of only 1300 um, um, uh, power, which is uh, w actually only 100 lower than the Huntsman and 100 higher than the Gorilla. So it's actually decent if it comes to power output. That said, it has 1800 kilos of tonnage, 3600 kilos of mass, which is the lowest in the game. Only at 7 energy points, which is the same amount as the Gorilla can, but for quite a bit of more power score. It only has 40 points of structure on its own, and 280 kilograms of mass. Next up are the rare ones. We kind of start with the Grohl Cabin, 750 power score. It has a engine, uh, its own speed is 110 km an hour and speed limit is 120, which is the highest of them all. As far as I know, I, again, I do not have the stats of the quantum, so I cannot tell, tell for certain. Uh, but that said, it has a power output of 1550, which is higher than the Huntsman, but lower than the WT1, and it is the lowest of all of the rare cabins. It has 200 meters building radar, 200 meters radio range. It has a health of si uh, 60, 2475 kilograms of tonnage, 4950 grams of mass limit, and 9 energy, which is again the lowest for this tier. Like similar to the tester, this is basically a rare tester. 
for the duster is a common role. Also, the duster is only obtainable by the market because it was a uh, reward for all the bad, for the close bandit dusters. So if you do not have it, that's the only way to obtain it. Grows and all the other parts are, uh, except for these three, right here, are all craftable, so that's not really a problem. Um, yeah, also has 410 kilobytes of mass and 60, and 60 points of structure. Next up is the trucker cabin. The trucker cabin is the one of is the one of the slower ones. Again, it has um, it goes 55 kilometers an hour. Uh, it has a top speed because of that of 65. It has a power output of 2600, which is pretty high, but not as high as the carapace or the hunch humpback. Uh, there's 8,000 kilograms of tonnage, 16,000 kilograms of mass limit, which is pretty high, which is really good. And that's 11 points of energy, uh, 20, uh, 240 points of structure, and it, uh, its own mass is 2,750 kilograms. Its uh, radar output is 110 meters. Next up is the Wyvern. The Wyvern comes uh, at a quite a high speed of 80 kilometers an hour with a top speed of 90. It has a power output of t um, 20, 2000, which is just as high as the bear at the Fury Cabin. And uh, yeah, it has 4000 kilograms of tonnage, 8000 kilograms of mass limit. It adds 10 points of energy. It has 120 points of structure and 800 kilograms of mass. This is actually one of my favorite cabins for going lightweight builds because it's pretty fast. And because of that, it's a really nice cabin to use in general, in my opinion. But also because it's a low profile and it's lightweight, it really helps for mid building lightweight vehicles. Of course, the grill is faster, but you're really limited mass-wise. So, yeah, also this one has 200 meters of built-in radar and radio range. Next up is the bear cabin. <coughs> the bear cabin has 70 kilometers an hour maximum speed, 80 kilometers an hour um, uh, with engine. Uh, its power output is also 2000 and has uh, 4800 kilograms of tonnage, 9600 kilograms of mass limit, 10 points of energy, 140 points of structure, and 1150 kilograms of mass. Comparing that to the uh, Fury Cabin, uh, the Fury Cabin has uh, 75 km an hour maximum speed, which is quite higher. Same speed, uh, speed limit is 85, so also quite higher. Um, the power is the same at 2000, however, the, um, and the tonnage is uh, um, however lower, 800 points lower than the Bear Cabin. And also the mass and health points differ. This one being 140, this one 135, this one 950 kilograms, and this one 1150. Also, the uh, bear cabin only has 100 meters of radar range, while the um, Fury cabin 200. So, I would say in general, the Fury would be a slightly better pick. However, the bear cabin does have that extra 800 kilograms of tonnage, which is a pretty sweet extra bonus. Although, yeah, you have to trade it in for 5 km an hour speed and 100 meter radar range. However, uh, although the bear does have 5 points extra structure and its own mass is higher. Next up is the carapace cabin. Going at only 45 km an hour, it is the slowest cabin in the game. 55 is the limit for this thing. It has, uh, however, 90, 2960 power output, which is second only to the humpback. And it has uh, 9,000 tonnage, 18,000 mass limit, 11 energy points, 270 points of structure, and 3.1 thousand kilograms of mass. This thing is low profile. It can lift a lot of weight. However, you do pay in the price in terms of speed, which is a bit of a downside. Um, that said, it has 110 meters of radar range. Next up is the uh, jawbreaker. 
I do have intel of this one in the hunt pack, luckily. Um, the humpback has a speed of 60, which is 5 kilometers an hour faster than the trucker, so actually the speed doesn't matter that much, actually. Which actually surprised me quite a bit. I thought that it was like at least 10 kilometers an hour faster, but it's only 5. Um, its speed limit, is, because of that, is 70 kilometers an hour. And um, its power output is 2230. Again, lower than the trucker and the carapace, but it's still a pretty solid cabin. Mainly because it's 7,000 kilograms of tonnage and 14,000 kilograms of mass limit. Um, combined with the L Sweet 11 energy points, which you would make it, uh, that's the, which is the reason why you would choose it over Pilgrim, Wyvern, Bear, or Fury, because of those ones only having 10. It does have 20, 225 points of structure. Um, and 2550 kilos of mass. The downside of this cabin is the fact that it only has 50 meters of radar range. That is where the fatal flaw of the drawbreaker actually comes in. That's why you should always take at least just like the standard small radar, which increases it to 300 meters for just one part, which already improves the drawbreaker quite a bit. And lastly, we got the humpback. I'm back only goes 50 km an hour, so again, together with the trucker, second slowest. It has a speed limit of 60. Its power output is 3350 power. It has a tonnage of 10,040 kilograms. A mass limit is 20,800, uh, 20, which is the highest of them all. Adds 12 energy, which also is the highest of them all. The structure is 300 points, and the mass is 3575 kilograms. It also has a unique perk that the speeds of the aim time for all weapons has have it by 100% when stationary, which means the like turret rotation, um, as as no sorry not the turret rotation, but I mean like um, uh, guns. Let's say the tsunami when you move, of course the accuracy decreases, but once the thing is stationary, like the weapon retraction is twice as fast. So the um, uh, also um. Like uh, repair guns, like if you make it less accurate, as long as you're stationary, if you stop firing, it will retract faster. I can go over the basic stats with the quantum and pilgrim, so I will do that. However, I cannot explain the energy speed, max speed of power, of uh, or the uh, ra uh, radar range of the, these things. Also, one thing, uh, the humpback has 110 meters of radar range. So the pilgrim, 750 power score, 7000 tonnage. 14,000 mass limit, which is slightly lower than the drawbreaker, is actually, sorry, uh, the same as the drawbreaker, uh, but it only has 10 energy points in return and less health, but it does have less weight, almost half the weight compared, uh, actually over half the weight of the drawbreaker cabin, and it has more speed in return. So that's the advantage of the pilgrim. I would say the pilgrim will go around 70. I would say, well, not really entirely sure. Uh, the Quantum has 1500 power score, 5000 kilograms of tonnage, 10,000 kilograms of mass limit. It has 11 energy points, has 90 points of structure, and 725 kilograms of mass. If a vehicle equipped with the Quantum does not uh, receive damage for 10 seconds, the damage for energy weapons will increase by 20%. So for the Tesla, for the um, Quasar, and for the Synthesis, will actually get a 20% damage bonus. I'll say the Quantum will go or is going around 90 kilometers an hour at top speed, so it's still slower than the Grohl cabin. But for what it is, is a still a really fast cabin for. Yeah, 11 energy points compared to the only 9 for the grill, which is really nice. But that's it, let's get on to the next topic, which are um, tracks. What do actually what do tracks actually do with a vehicle? Well, tracks have a maximum speed limit, which uh, lowers the maximum speed limit to that number um, if it's over that speed. So for example, the small caterpillar track, so the small tracks have uh, a speed limit of 80. If your vehicle 
can possibly go over 80 km an hour, it will be capped at 80 km an hour. But if it's like slower, so let's say uh, can only go up to 60, you will not notice any difference compared to wheels. The strengthened tracks have a speed limit of 65 km an hour, so it can still be used to unsteal things like carapace, cabins, humpbacks without any speed decrease. But uh, although the armored um, track, if you have an engine that is, will limit the speed uh, even on the humpback, trucker, or, and carapace because it only has a maximum speed of 50. The mechanical Macalag is even slower at only 35 kilometers an hour top speed, which makes it the slowest moving part. Uh, makes it any vehicle equipped with it the slowest vehicle in the game. As far as I know, hovers do not decrease uh, your speed, and I, I don't think they should, but they are um, not really that. Uh, good in terms of tonnage, again only a 485 kg of tonnage with like a medium normal uh, medium wheel uh, comes up with like around 750 which is so much more but yeah that said um, let's go over the engines in detail now so again if you replace your cabin uh, if you uh, replace uh, if you place an engine the uh, power output of your uh, vehicle will be um, replaced by the power of the engine. And also, they all have a maximum speed up to which they can provide that power. After that, the, the power will no, long, it will no longer be that high power, but it will instead be the power of your cabin. So, um, we got uh, the light engine, which has a power output of 2600, which is quite a lot. It's... Um, double that of the uh, tester cabin so you can actually double the strength output uh, for acceleration so you double your acceleration speed if you put one on your duster but it um, it actually has a maximum speed of 150 km an hour so basically on the grill cabin it can only it will only give that power up to 150 km an hour if you go to that extra absolute top of 120 so if you go above 115 km an hour your power will be downgraded to the uh, standard grill speed uh, power uh, power output of only 1550. The normal engine has 2700 power output, uh, but has a uh, speed limit of only 85. So anything faster than 85 kilometers an hour at the speed limit. So duster, grill, uh, wyvern, uh, possibly pilgrim. Um, will all be uh, limited and these oh, actually and fury as well uh, will all be a little bit limited in terms of the power output but it still is a pretty solid choice um, of, however I do want to point out that um, with the humpback if you choose to put a light engine on your humpback cabin it will lower your power output because the humpback normally has 3350 power and the en light engine only is 2600 so uh, the light engine you, uh, you should not put a light engine on a uh, carapace or a huntback it does not really matter for a trucker cabin because a trucker cabin has the exact same power output so do uh, so I would say do not really bother on putting it on a trucker either um, so yeah, the normal engine is 2700, so um, you can put it with like a benefit on a trucker, but you cannot put it for, any, you do not get any benefits for putting it on a carapace or a humpback. So next up is the powerful engine, it has 28 power, um, uh, but only has a top speed uh, of 60 kilometers an hour. Again, do not put this thing on either a carapace or a humpback, because it really does not matter. So then we got the improved engine. The improved engine has 3200 power, which makes it only unsuitable for a humpback. And as a, um, so even the carapace can make use of it and get some like power up boost, but only slightly. So you actually not really notice that difference, and it's quite a lot of power score. Um, 
and it has the maximum speed limit of 120, so even with the gross cutoff speed, it will not suffer from any power loss. The V8 or the Avia both have the exact same stat, guys. They have a power output of 34, so they even will increase the power output on the Humpback Cabin. Although only by 50 points, and it has a max speed of 95 kilometers an hour. And lastly, the powerful engine Mark II is 3500 power, which is again not really that much higher than the humpback, but only a maximum speed of 65. So I suggest if you are getting yourself an epic engine, you put the uh, powerful engine Mark II on anything where you need um, you uh, either reload speed increased. Or, if you don't really matter and you just want to go for the speed, put it on either the humpback, carapace, um, trucker. Um, but uh, if you just do it for the power output, do not put it on anything else. The V8 engine or Avia engine will be up to 95 km an hour, so it will fit up to anything except the grill cabin. And while well, the uh, improved engine is only mostly fit for the grill cabin only. Um, Although, um, yeah, you uh, you might actually get run in. Actually, the uh, sorry, the, v, uh, the FV8 or the Avia are only fit. Uh, f uh, actually, also not fit for the Duster because the Duster also um, has a higher top speed than the V8 and Avia engines. And finally, we got uh, Avia boosters. Avia boosters. Um, uh, well, I'm gonna add, uh, which I forgot the names of all of them. So, uh, yeah, first the Avia Booster. The Avia Booster has a working time of 1.5 seconds and a reload time of 10 seconds. Uh, basically, it um, adds a, for a short time, it adds 15,000 power to like the power of the build, which is actually quite a lot. Uh, basically, it's like having a knockback of like a Reaper, but having like 15,000 knockback on there. Well, the Rocket Booster uh, works for 2 seconds, but it has a reload speed of one uh, for 15 seconds. But its force, uh, its acceleration force is 2,000. Um, and the Hermes uh, works for 2.4 seconds. Also has a reload speed of 15 seconds, so it uh, is more efficient than the uh, rocket booster, and has a force acceleration of 25,000. For your reference, uh, knockback of a reaper um, has, uh, is 4,000 per shot, and um, it has a rate of uh, it has a pretty high rate of fire, but it is literally just 4,000 per shot, so you can do your math a little bit. There, um, that one, the other ones give that quite a bit higher output um, all at the same time, uh, uh, and they literally give it like non-stop give that boost, and this one is like four thousand for a split second uh, in knockback, and yeah, you pretty much get it. Um, the Reaper actually has a little bit more is better in terms of like four propellants, I would say, than a. Simple Avia booster, but um, the Rocket and the Hermes will have more power output. But that said, I want to thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope this has been informational and will finally clear any questions about engines. But that said, I want to thank you guys all for watching and I will see you guys all later. Bye bye everyone.